Hello everybody and welcome to the United Stand. Cristiano Ronaldo, have you heard of that name? He's been causing a bit of problems lately, isn't he? He needs to go in the naughty corner. Cristiano Ronaldo is what we're here to talk about today. Hello everybody. Beth, Hello. Charlie and Adam. Hello. We're, we're punchy, we're gonna be punchy. We're not gonna, we're gonna throw a few punches here. So we're talking about Cristiano Ronaldo and what the replacement should be. None of this bloody interview crap, what the replacement should be, whether it should be January, whether it should be the summer, and we've all got our own ideas about that. But before we get into that, a little bit of fun. Saw it on social media a couple of days ago. Let's all rank Cristiano Ronaldo's return to Manchester United. So the last year and a bit. Yeah. How would you rank it out of 10? And we're going six being the average, yeah? Six being the average. Of course. Hmm. I know I'm going to have the highest. Four, five, six, seven. Four, <laughs> five, six, seven. So we did I, I've got the highest, so seven? I'll start. Um, I, I, I've gone with the seven because he got player of the year and he scored 18 goals in the worst Premier League, so, and probably the worst Man United side I've seen, to be honest. Um, uh, yeah, so for me, I think last season was remarkable at what he did, and this season has been abysmal. So um, I would give it a generous... Well, not even a generous... I genuinely would give it a seven. I understand why people are frustrated, but Adam... Um, you give it a four. You're not a Ronaldo liker anyway, really. Even last season, you weren't. Well. I was critical. Uh, like I said, I've said it many a times. Uh, I expected more from him. Mm. Uh, he was at a seven for last season, like you said. So everything that he's done this season, I would say, has just tipped it over the edge. I've never known a player to walk off the pitch twice, to walk out the stadium like he did. Mm. Refused to come on and play for Manchester United. That tips it over for me. Forget about all his performances and what he did last season, that just takes it straight down to where I am and that's it. Yeah, I don't think anyone can argue with that. Comments at home, good, good. We had a good range there and that's what you want. Um, let's get into it then. Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo replacement, because I think we all agree that needs to happen. I'm sure Ronaldo would sit here and say, yes, it does. Um, so what are we thinking, Beth? Are we thinking, have you got a player, first of all? Because I suppose that dictates whether you're going in January or the summer, because that's a big thing. Honestly, there's multiple players that I would take and it's not just whittled down to one because I think there's a few good striker options but also it feels like there's not that many, if, if that sounds weird in itself. There's none that I look at in January that I think we'll be able to get them in January and it'll be a successful replacement yeah, for the long the term. It's like Gakpo, people tell me about Gakpo. Gakpo looks like a good player. I don't think he can be our long term number nine. Prove me wrong but he seems more of a Rashford type winger striker. I still think he looks good, but is that going to fill the number nine issue? Maybe you get him in and then wait till summer because it's difficult. You have to get Ronaldo gone in January. He, ca he can't stay past then, but is, a li is the likes of Tony, Ossiman, even people talk about Harry Kane now, going to be available in January? Not a chance. So I think maybe Gakpo maybe in January or something like that and then move on to a striker in the summer. Yeah, on Gakpo, Marcel van der Kran actually did a piece on him coming when we were looking at Anthony and Hakpo. Uh, obviously Dutch football expert and he said Hakpo is the player that will be like an Henri type converted winger into a long term striker so that could be long term but short term right now number nine I'm waiting till the summer because mm. there's no one there like Beth said I totally so agree. Do you, do you obviously I mean I guess you agree on the fact that Ronaldo has to go in January though right? Yeah. So then, yeah, you, I should rip his contract up now. No, exa exactly. So then, uh, do we just then just sit it out to the summer? Is that? Uh, it's tough. Can't, like, you can't. Well, no. It's the, it's, but that's the such why someone. it's so difficult. You're looking there at Martial and Rashford. That's all you've got. Yeah. Or in a, a false nine or something like that. Can we see the season out? We've talked about not having a squad to see it out, but we've also said the expectation shouldn't be top four. Can we make top six? with this squad right now. It depends how you I, want to look I, at I it. Think, um, I think, I don't know what you, th I'll come to you Charlie, because I think if we don't buy anyone in January, you are writing the season off because Martial is made of glass and Rashford's not really number nine. There's yeah. no youth player. So what would you do? Well, it's not only that, but everyone else is going to strengthen around us. Mm. You, you most likely presume, you look at, it would be silly for Newcastle not to go and buy again because of the position they're in. Their star striker has hardly played any games. He's injured, so surely they're going to want out and go and strengthen in these positions. Chelsea, obviously, they're not going to like where they are. Yeah, well, they're so, definitely going to get in Kunku, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, there's, there's, there has to, there has to be somebody. But again, there's just so many variables because we're all coming to the conclusion here that Ronaldo has to go in this January period. But then, who does get brought in? As you say, there's no one from the youth. Do we just? sit it out and hope that you know we can get someone in the summer it's just so it's very difficult this comes to... down to 
if the Glazers are willing to spend the X amount of money in January because it's going to cost more. And the only player I can see who was who we would be able to prize away from another team would be Tony from Brentford. Do you know who in I would, January? I would be interested to look at on a loan deal. I've seen it floating about Twitter. Oh, I'm not the sure loan deals. Oh. I'm not sure if it's any leg room in it, but people will disagree with me on this or people agree with me. He's one of them players. I actually really do rate Jao Felix. Oh, Whether I you can play him is an out-and-out number nine, but I certainly think he'll score goals from January till summer if that's an option. I said this the other Simeone day to people, isn't really yeah. rating him. He's, honestly, both the legs, in, when we played Atletico last year, bear in mind, we weren't that great, but he was a star player in both of them. I think he's a player that deserves to be playing, and I think he'd suit Eric Ten Hag really well too. I don't think there's an orthodox, and maybe people in the chat will, will disagree, I don't think there's an orthodox number nine available in January. No. Um, and if there you isn't. wait till the summer, you've got maybe a Harry Kane, maybe a Osman, maybe the, there are a Sesco, there are others. If you do it in January, <laughs> Fabrizio, Jonathan David, <laughs> Jonathan David, Jonathan David. Jonathan David. And, 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 <laughs> but that might be because it's the most viable number nine that's available. But, you know, I think, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what, what everyone's thoughts are. I, I just don't think we can, I, I think if we ignore January, like we did with Ranić, then we will ignore Champions League football. See, but you if you do, it's like, it's like taking, it's like, but if you go longer term, you'll get a better striker. Yeah, this is it. It's like the fear factor of what happened last season is right there. And we've seen the debacle, which was that January transfer window. Uh, the club, I'm fully convinced, are right behind Ten Hag. But I do think Ten Hag will look at it also and go, there is a player that fits my system. Yeah, it has to big. be the right player. He is a system manager and he won't go willy-nilly. But the World Cup's coming. Could someone jump out of the World Cup and surprise everybody? That's why I think Scout Central will be all over this World Cup this time with it being right in the middle of the season. And four days later, or sorry, a week and a half later, the window opens. Yeah. It may be it may be the, the pond to be fishing in. Yeah. I do think we buy when Ronaldo leaves because it's inevitable. Ronaldo is going and I think we will buy a replacement. Ten Hag will demand that. And I think the, what we've heard from Romano on the shows is the only way that we're going to buy in January if Juan Bissaka leaves, and if Ronaldo leaves, if Juan Bissaka leaves, we'll get a right back. If Ronaldo leaves, we'll go for a striker or a forward player. So I do think with this interview coming out, and he's sealed his fate with that, I do think we'll buy the quality of player that we'll get. I'm not sure, because I think we're looking at Chupo... What's, what's his name? Chupo 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bayern Munich. So yeah, it's like, again, it's, it's another old guy, though, right? Like, it comes mm, back to the Igarlo. Another the, journeyman. The, yeah, it's another... It's a, it's a stopgap. It's a filler yeah. player, right? So, and it's again, it's... Again, we come back to the same thing of how how long do you want this person to last? Because you know, Mark's saying if we wait till summer, you do get the better one, the Kane Tony. Obviously, if you go to the, but do we just accept that we just get this guy for six months as a as the backup? I can't see Tim you know. Hag doing it. I can't see him making a stopgap sign. He doesn't look like that type. But even just with the words he was saying about Donny yeah. Van der Beek, mm. you're not going alone. It's either do or die. You leave. There's no messing around. He doesn't seem like that type of manager. He looks like he's a guy who's just like, I want this guy, he is going to play for me long term. Everything he has bought and brought into this football club is a long term player. That's how he sees it. I think it will, I th I, you know what? I think he, ha I think he will we'll get everyone's definitive answer now. So get thinking about what's gonna, what you would do. But I, I, I do think he's going to do something in January. Not because we spoke to Fabrizio this week, but I think, as you said there, Beth, if Ronaldo goes, you have to bring a striker in. And if Juan Bissaka goes, you have to bring a right back in. And I believe we will bring both in. Mm. The question is, and I think Adam's right and Charlie's right, the, the, the reason we're debating this is because we've, we've got no bloody idea and we had no idea who was going to sign Malasia. So I, I think that, I don't think Ten Hag sat there like us going, if I don't get one in January, you know, I think he will, he will have an idea and it could well be Cody Gakpo for the reasons you've said. It might be that he gives me another option. I can play Rashford through the middle. I can play him through the middle. Um, and longer term, I think he will become a striker, so he might go developmental. Um, I don't, I'm not convinced on this Jonathan David story. I, I, I do not think that's the player, but it could be something like that. But I suppose, uh, let's go to the decisions. Um, what do you do, Adam? Have you got a name in mind for January, or are you waiting for the summer? Uh, for the price that we can get him for, Hackpo in January, Harry Kane in the summer. Mm, you could do it. Double Dutch. Good talk. You Not could do Dutch. One's Dutch. Um, <laughs> Charlie? <laughs> it took a while to remember my name. I was thinking of a line, but then I thought <laughs> it was inappropriate, so I left it. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I'd go and get Gakpo in January, and 
I don't think I'd I don't think I'd get Kane in the summer, but I definitely would go and buy again. Um, oh. I'd definitely go and buy again, and I'd go and get uh, Ivan Tony oh, in go. the summer. Yeah. The thing is, if you went with Gakpo, this, this is a great point actually, Charlie. Um, if you spend ninety million pounds on Harry Kane in the summer, you would get Gakpo and Tony for less than ninety million pounds, and you'd solve both problems, wouldn't you? So you'd that, like to think so, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Well, well, with John Murtagh in charge, we probably won't. Do you reckon Kane would cost ninety million with a year left at yeah. age thirty? Yeah. Well, you're looking at seventy-five. Think he would. Eden Hazard went for eighty. I don't think left. he would. I don't wow. think he would at that age. But, uh, well, if I they don't get Champions League, if they get Champions League, I think Kane's off anyway. Yeah. But if he doesn't get Champions League, then I think Kane will force that move out. You could do too. Um, I would try for Tony in January. It won't happen, but at least knock on the door and. If that's answer. a no, if that's no a no. room at the end. <laughs> if that's yeah. a no. There the is thing is, though, room. with Brentford, they, nah, I don't think they'll go in January, but it is a club that would, I do think they would sell. But we need to get a striker, and like Adam and Charlie said, I think Gakpo is the most relevant one. I think he will have a good World Cup, and it'll be interesting to see what happens in that. And then I think, as well, Eric Ten Hag's mentioned him before, in the summer. Mm. Charles Felix is somebody mentioned in the summer. But in the summer, I would go for, how many times can I say summer? I would go for... Ivan Tony over Harry Kane. I think Harry Kane is a brilliant player and I would not complain if we bought him. But I think with Ivan Tony, you still give Martial that he's going to play some games. And also, I think he's got more years left in him and there is prime years as well. I think he's ready to take that next step up. And he looks like he's got some bite in him as well, which I like. And hopefully that will improve our team and make it better, which I think it will work with the likes of Martinez and Anthony, these players that have got that grit in them that want to do well. Interesting. All of them want to uh, bring a player in January and then go for one in the summer, which is what a club like Manchester United should be doing. And let's not forget, we're all assuming Anthony Martial can stay fit. Ronaldo needs replacing, and if Martial can't stay fit, we need another striker anyway. So I quite, we will buy in January, we have to buy in January, and I think what we would all agree is if United think it's an option to wait till the summer and not buy in January, they're writing the season off like they did last year, which is unacceptable. <coughs> I just hope that Eric Ten Hag has got a player in mind that maybe we don't even know about yet, and, and, and he sees him as the, the player that he wants, because he will have a player in mind. But I agree, I think uh, Cody Gakpo is probably a player because of last summer. Uh, and, and, you know, maybe Beth's got something right about Jao Felix there. Um, with, uh, no, I'm not saying you don't get things right, Beth, by the way. I know you did predict we'd win the league last year, but we don't talk about it much. Um, anyway, uh, thanks very much for coming on, everyone. Appreciate it. No worries, mate. Yeah, I won't be coming back next time. All right. <laughs> Have you got your P45 already? <laughs> They're really quick. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks everyone for watching. Um, get your comments in below what you think should happen and uh, smash the like on the video. We'll speak to you on the next one.